old and he sustained accidental injury to his right lumbar and all the flexor tendons both deep and superficial and this is about one and a half months post to enhance the recovery of the hand i am going to give sympathetic block along with the partial brachyplexus block i am planning to give cervical thoracic sympathetic block from the posterior approach and i have marked the the triangle here and this is the trapezius muscle and this is the levator scapula and here i have marked the interscalene space the direction of the needle is from this triangle to this triangle so this is in fact a posterior approach we can also say it is a deep cervical deep cervical block and i have taken i have already anesthetized this area so from this point i am going to insert the needle and i have taken 7 ml of 0.5% bupivacaine and 3 ml 3 ml of gyloken adrenaline so this is 20 ml range total volume is about 22 ml and for this block i have taken the needle from the 18 gauge intracap right tada ek choti si sui lagi bahut choti si just put the tip of index finger in the cleft between the levator scapula and the levator i mean so trapezius here so from this just the tip of my index finger is posing the levator scapula anteriorly and here i am inserting the needle ek sui lagi bas now insert the needle towards the direction of interscapula cleft and always keep watch on the pulse and oxygen saturation from here start aspirating and start injecting little bit amount of the solution be very slow and gentle moving again i am aspirating and injecting little amount of the solution to create the space till i reach the interscalene space i am going just to deep the the muscles here deep to levator and deep to posterior scalenae slowly move there is no blood always keep watch that there should not be any blood in the interscalene space now rotate the syringe aspirate inject aspirate inject there should not be any resistance here I have taken 3 ml of gyloken adrenaline just to watch if there is any accidental intravascular injection there is should be sudden rise of the pulse so be gentle and make sure there should not be any resistance if there is resistance manipulate this range go little deep Withdraw the syringe because I am feeling the resistance. Withdraw it further. Now it is a little more comfortable. Move. So. there is free flow and no blood now for the red ones i can feel the the needle is somewhere here see there is free flow and the pulse before injection was 73 now it is 69 this quite is stable see there is no resistance here now aspirate frequently after giving 1 to ml of the injection aspirate rotate in different plane always keep watch on the pulse and in aspirate
I am rotating this range again this free flow now see the, the movement is transmitted here it needle is somewhere there I have used very dilute solution of BP Viking and 2-3 ml of xylophen adrenaline so the result of this plot lasts more than 10 to 12 hours particularly the sympathetic one he will have very mild motor paralysis and little bit sensory loss but the result of sympathetic blockage is long lasting the limb becomes warm after this injection say after 10 to 20 minutes you can notice the dilatation of the vessels and warmness of the limb and during this we will ask the patient to exercise extensively to relax the muscles and mobilize the joint this also gives a post-operative analgesia now before this I would like to remove the syringe to see if there is any regurgitation the fluid is is coming out that indicates a facial plane just remove it the block is complete and that is all